back to Red Minute Racing. In this video, we have the one-year view on the Trex Max. We've had a with it for a full year with bashing and racing, so now we're going to give our thoughts of how it went. And before we start, it is a one-tenth scale monster truck. It is 3S4S capable with a 2400 kV motor. It has 3.8 sledgehammer tires. And this is the V2, so this is the Wide Max. Yeah, and this thing costs about $580, depending on where you get it from. So it's actually a really good deal for what you get out of it. Yeah, so for the weak points, there's not many weak points because this is one of the strongest bastards they make. Definitely one of the weak points is the body. The body is probably the biggest weak point on this oh, yeah. car because it Definitely. just gets destroyed. This is actually uh, the, the newest body. Yeah. We tried the dragon skin and the dragon skin did not work. I mean, this body is how, how many months old? Um, About five, six months. Five, six months. This was the original body. It's actually in much better shape, and I think the reason is, is when we first got it, we actually used uh, the Shugu method, and it worked way better. So I think the next body we get, we're definitely going back yeah. to the Shugu. So that these holes are mainly because each one of these shock towers, it just goes right through the body. And another weak point are the toe links. These do tend to bend. I I think I have two bend one bent ones right now. We have replaced. We've both replaced one in the past, and I think I might have to replace these ones soon too, because these are also bending. Other weak points are probably the outer axles. I've broken a, a lot of outer axles, a few of them because of bearings, but other ones because of bicycles landing, you will just break it off inside of the tire. And besides that, there's not many other weak points. I have broken a few of these knobs on the battery tray, but besides that, that's pretty much it. Yeah, there's not a lot of weak points. Uh, what we've broken on this, uh, I'm trying to think because there's not too much. He's broken one battery tray and then popped it out a couple different times. I've had to heat shrink uh, the motor wiring right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Because these do scrape up on the zip tie from factory right there. So what I did is I took the zip tie off. I put some heat shrink on the zip tie and put it back on. So it kind of gives it a nice soft thing to rub on because it just rubs right through the insulation right there. Uh, and like you said with the, the tow link, it's always on the servo side. Okay. It's always on the servo side. Uh, the right side is bent, I can see that obviously, but it always bends on the servo side. So I don't know if that's just a coincidence or not. But other than that, I think we've broken two or three hubs, a couple of C-hubs, we both broke one bulkhead and the spur gear. Spur gear and a pinion. And, and input gear. And which one? Input gear. Input gear yeah. and the input, yeah, the transmission input gear, which I, I can't believe we even broke that. And that was actually when we were at the skate park. So that could have been why, that was a pretty harsh bash. But that's all that we broke it on this. This thing is a real tank. And for 580 bucks, this is well, well worth it you're not going to be spending a whole lot of money in parts yeah. and you've seen our videos we do not take it easy on this car and we send it i think it's also the design yeah it's it acts like a bucket with these shock towers and it keeps everything enclosed especially with the shocks because you can't hit anything and actually break these shock caps i know people have broken the shock caps but we haven't broken them and everything else has ran great on these so i know people i know when you flex these shock towers they seem weak and flexible but we rammed this thing accidentally into a solid concrete wall once and all it is to show is a few scratches that doesn't even show up on camera when we try to show it yep. this thing is almost indestructible we ran into a brick wall and we chipped this knob and that was all we broke yeah and, and even then tracks has sent one out for yes. free because it broke and, and we told them how it broke and they still sent one out and for strong points, when we're at the skate park, we took tons of bad hits, and it took 20 minutes to finally destroy the gears. But the bulkheads held up. We haven't broken an arm. We've never broken a, a oh, yeah, max yeah. arm. Yeah, we haven't broken any of the arms. No. I think we've had the pin come out a couple of times, but we've never broken an arm. Yeah, these, these are... pins do back out every once in a while, but they do not come out. Yeah, these are the original arms. I mean... I don't know if they're ever gonna break. <laughs> so, so uh, I have all these bashings, two bulkheads, a few battery trays, and that's kind of all the big problems we've had with it. 
Now, as far as the t train goes and how this thing handles. Yeah, this is, i say it's the most train versatile car we have. It's one of the only cars we can take to a skate park. It's wide enough and fast enough to control around a track. You can bash it pretty much wherever you go. It's fast enough to do a little bit of speed runs. There's not much you can't do with the Max. It's tall enough to go on grass and sand. With um, pile tires, you can take it on the water. This car can pretty much do anything you want it to do. Yeah. As far as bashing goes, we've taken this thing to the skate park. Uh, we've taken it out to the Silver Spur. We've taken it out to San Diego through that big sand trap that we normally go at and sent it off that 45 degree ramp several times. This thing does amazing backflips. It does double backflips. I think I've thrown in a few triples. Uh, I really sent this thing hard the first weekend we had it. Yeah. The first weekend we had it, I sent it off the ramp at full speed and I was amazed. Uh, this is probably the best purchase that we've made so far out of all the RC cars because you definitely get your money's worth. This thing lands like a champ. It hits the ramp great. We haven't had to adjust the shock oil too much. We did we did tamper a little bit. We went to 100 weight, then we went back down. And it all works great. We haven't broken anything else on it. Um, I've sent this thing as hard as I could. This thing does great cartwheels and comes right out of it. I've spun this thing on its roof several times. I haven't blown out any of the diffs. We've serviced everything on this car and nothing's been worn out on it. The tires, we've gone through two sets of tires, mainly because the beads came out of one of them and they got pretty worn out. We got sand because we didn't vent the tires when we were in the sand. But this thing does great off the ramp. It does great wheelies. Can't quite get it to do any nose stands, but it handles great in the grass. We love taking it to the baseball field. But as far as crashes go, we've, or, sh or should I say I've, <laughs> I've sent this thing so hard so many times and have yet to break mine as much as Will has broken his. Mine has gone through the ringer. I have sent this thing off the ramp so many times and landed on its roof. I even broke the top body on the new body and it keeps going. I don't break a lot of axles. I don't break a lot of hubs. It just keeps going. And I think that's why I love it so much. I can just full throttle it knowing I can hit the ramp and if I hit the side of a another ramp I know it's going to keep going uh, normally cartwheels would damage the hubs especially bend the tow rods and cause some other problems but I can cartwheel all day with this thing it just keeps going but we have broken a lot of parts I was at the BMX track and that's when I broke the bulkhead I think it was already weak so when I hit the the uh, the edge of that ramp at the BMX track the dirt track it cracked the bulkhead and I can see the, the differential hanging out of it. So that's what I did on that one. When he were at the skate park and he hit the, I don't know, he hit the side of the jump or is this where you landed? It was where I, I think it was on the um, slope of the ramp. On the slope of the ramp, landed, chassis slap, and then it cracked the bulkhead and then you can hear the gears chipping. And that actually caused a pretty bad effect because it went down the drivetrain, broke the input gear, the pinion gear, and the spur gear. So it kind of just, the teeth probably got caught in there and chipped the other teeth and it just caused a whole big problem. But even when that happened, mm -hmm. I still kept going. Yeah, you still, you hit the... You <laughs> I still jump. landed a front flip 180 with it. Yeah. So even when it's broken, it can still perform better than half the other cars out there. Yeah. I mean, I thought that was a really fun video. It was, it was just at the skate park, right? Skip, yeah. Skateboard bash. Uh, we'll put a, we'll put a card up for you guys can check that one out. And now for tricks. The Max probably does one of the, some of the best tricks. In the air, it can rotate fast enough to do doubles and triple backflips. I've gotten it to do several front flips, some 180s. He did a triple backflip 180. I did the front flip 180. And from the ground, it does very good wheelies and bicycles. I landed it. I um, did my longest bicycle. Check this Max. It was 15 seconds from first from the outfield to second to the infield. Yep. <laughs> it's very stable on Actually, two wait a minute. Actually, when you came in on the infield on that, I think you did a 180 yes. twist. <laughs> some of my best tricks were with the Traxxas Max. I'm doing some other things with different cars, but some of my favorite tricks I've done on this channel were, were, were with this Max. Gone through a lot of tires doing those bicycles. Yes. Because so, it does unglue your tires. And don't forget the Mavericks. 
Yes. I mean, I do really good Mavericks with the uh, Rustler, but I love doing Mavericks with the uh, with the Max because I can get in the air and it stays really smooth, and I can get it completely upside down and rotate back forward. Uh, I can't do front flips, but I can do a back flip into a Maverick and front flip it just fine, but I can't do a front flip. I've tried. I'll keep trying with the Max. The Sledge, Sledge is too heavy to mess up a, mess up a front flip. So you landed your very first front flip to Sledge. I Actually, I did. Yes. So I don't know why I can't do it with the Max. If you guys have any tips, let me know down below. Let me know if you want me to keep trying. All right, so with this car, along with the E-Revo and the wrestler, which one is your favorite and, and why? Probably a month ago, I would have easily said Trax Max ends down, but I've figured out some tricks with the E-Revo. But even with those new tricks, I find I still think Trax Max is still my favorite car. It's done the best bashings, it's most durable, and I race better with the Max than I do with the Rustler. I figured out how to drift the Max a bit better yeah. than I can with the Rustler. So overall, Max can just do more stuff than the other cars. That's true. Since you got the Sledge, would you say the Max is still on that table to be <laughs> reckoned with the Sledge? That's that's really tough, because I really like the Sledge. I think it's because of the way it handles. Like, this is really fun to drive, but everyone has different ways they like to, to drive their car and the way i like to drive my car fits that sledge perfect i didn't think it would fit that perfect but there's things i can do with the sledge i can't do with this there's things you can do with that car that you can't i think it's because it's success and it's got so much power but if i want to go to the park and just ride and just drive my car and not worry about breaking anything i know for sure i can bring the max because i can bring it there i can bring two batteries and i know i'm not going to break anything and I'm going to be fine. I don't know that with the other cars because I haven't had them long enough yet. So, uh, yes, I would probably have to say the Max still. But there's we still have to wait a year for that sledge to see how it handles throughout the year, along with the E-Revo, because that E-Revo is a really nice car. But we haven't had it enough time to know its weaknesses and its strong points. Okay, so overall, this is going to be the biggest bang for your buck, especially since you don't have to do a whole lot of upgrades. So if you're looking for your first monster truck, this is going to be the one. Yeah, I think this is one of the best, most versatile trucks Trax makes. And no matter what your driving conditions are, you're having a lot of fun with this Max. Yep. If you guys made it this far in the video, comment down if Trax is tough. We're going to throw up some clips of our best moments and bashings with the Trax Max just to end out the video. So if you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. we will see you guys next video. I make it place. Y'all know where to find me. You be looking center stage. 24 7, we ain't never taking breaks. Got a lot to learn, think you better know the game. Yeah, y'all don't the match. Finally got the belt, now I think I'll give it back. And 24 7, grind, put me on the map. I think you probably should try to study how I move, that's a fact. Yeah, y'all don't the match. Uh, I got the belt, and I ain't gonna give it back. Yeah, y'all don't the match. Uh, I got the belt and I ain't gonna get the back I'll make it place. Y'all know where to find me. You be looking center stage. 24-7.